hey y'all it's deanna i thought i'd give y'all a little update um it's been a while since i recorded a video a few weeks i think anyway i thought i'd just give you an update on what's happening around here we've had so much rain over the past month or two um, but not over the past couple of days but anyway so much rain so much heat the humidity that my tomatoes have about had it that cabinet there's lucy eating grass because i don't know why um anyway there, that pot there had chamomile and after it rained so much and then i don't know i'm assuming that's what caused that one to die but i have other chamomile out here in another little pot that didn't die so i'm not sure what happened to that one it was looking really nice but then it died uh my zinnias are looking pretty good although they're kind of they need a little support but anyway and of course there's grass everywhere but my tomatoes have about had it uh some of my peppers are looking a little um terrible i've pulled out almost every squash plant that i had that's a butternut squash over there that i haven't pulled out yet um but all my squash and my melons my, i had a couple of watermelon plants that ended up dying i don't know if it was the, too much water sitting in standing water or if it was vine borer but vine borer was in my in all my squash there's another tomato plant that's on its way out these tomato plants are have about had it i've been cutting them back cutting off the green tomatoes i've fried green tomatoes uh some of them ripen some of them don't and if they don't i just fry them up for fried green tomatoes and i do as much as i can out here but it's hot so i can't stay out here long some of my basil looks pretty good some of it doesn't i watered some last night but i didn't water a whole lot i only watered mainly because of the basil and the like that's a what is that uh sh that's a daisy of some sort that never did grow and flower but uh i've watered because of the basil and the lemon balm that are in some of these pots there is a couple of potato plants that's just trying to see if i can get some potatoes i'm not counting on it there's a couple of new honey boat delicata squash that i planted seeds because the plants the other plants i had just got overtaken by vine borer with all the rain and all the heat and not being able to be out here for um hours on end trying to find eggs i just couldn't keep keep it up at bay my rosemary my lavender a dahlia some oregano down there this one is i think a sweet dumpling that's one that i planted more recently hoping to get some squash this uh oh that basil looks terrible and i watered that last night i guess i didn't give it enough but i also you know i was watering with um filter but that filter only had 300 gallons life on it and i went through that pretty quick and i haven't done anything to figure out how to fill the jugs and keep the screen on to keep from drowning the uh, bees that were dying so i started watering again with just directly from the hose and that between the rain the heat the humidity and watering with chlorinated water my plants just went downhill real quick and i know they don't like that chlorinated water look at that what is that some kind of caterpillar of some sort and i don't want to kill it because i don't know what it is um, my celery went to seed i didn't get very many roma tomatoes those are about done some of my roma tomatoes ended up rotting on the vine it was like they got so much water 
they weren't ripening and they rotted it was it was weird because they weren't busted they weren't and it didn't look like blossom in rot they didn't have a worm in them they just and it happened to another tomato plant over there they just rotted so i i don't know it's a weird year my shishito peppers did good but i'm not real fond of them so and uh, my boyfriend he hardly you know he won't hardly eat them i don't know why because he said they tasted like bell pepper to him look at all that grass well, i just can't Ugh, that's a lot of grass <laughs> and i have sprayed vinegar like i sprayed vinegar and water on this grass here and it's still alive so vinegar didn't kill it i don't know um my deals finally had it i'm gonna cut that out although my and my uh let's see my trumpet plant here is doing well the tomatoes just look terrible and there's been a bunch of leaf footed bugs out here lately that have stung up my tomatoes this basil looks pretty good the lemon balm looks good see the shishito looks good I haven't picked those tomatoes because there were leaf-footed bugs on them. There's another pepper that looks like it might, oh, it might be all right. That looks like bell pepper. See these tomatoes? These tomatoes are all stung up and there's another leaf-footed bug. Where is he? Right there on that, right there. just I'm gonna let these ripen and save some seeds see there's some little leaf footed bugs right there and I have killed the little ones as I could as well as I could but um, that big one I just can't seem to get him but I'm gonna let these ripen save some seeds from them though they won't have been isolated seeds but and then the dogs can have some of them there's some basil that looks pretty good that basil looks pretty good there's a bee if you can see him uh, yeah they've just stung up a bunch of these tomatoes which is sad because these are my favorite the sunrise bumblebee I tried to isolate a um, tomato but it it didn't work I don't know it didn't work <laughs> there's a little um, white eggplant there let's go this way there's my cayenne pepper that was I planted that one last year I overwintered it see my cucumbers are still doing okay I have had to throw three or four away because they had a worm in them uh, my tomatillas are still doing okay I've picked three or four. They're just sitting in my cabinet. I don't know what to do with three or four tomatillos. <laughs> There's another one that's going to be ready here soon. It's, pretty, it's probably another day or so. Um, they haven't, the leaf footed bugs haven't found this one. This is a, a sun gold. So I've just left it. There is another eggplant right here, and there's one growing on it. But I have pulled up the the um, golden zucchini that I worked real hard to save, and it I saved it, and it did real good. And then eventually, I just couldn't keep up with it. But I'm going to plant some more because I have long enough growing season. My last frost or first frost date is november the 28th i believe so i can get some squash but i'm gonna not wait another week or two and let all this vine borer be gone there's a little i don't know if you can see him back there let me find him oh i can't see him either 
right there is a uh, cantaloupe. And let's see, there's some zinnias. It's not standing up, but once I pull all these tomatoes out, I'll stake my zinnias. The marigold that I thought was dead. It's survived, and that's a piece of the marigold that I cut off of this one, shoved it in the dirt, and it lived. My uh, okra plants. I think I get an okra every couple of days. Look, there's a leaf-footed bug on that tomato. Ugh. These things, all my lemons, which are hard to see because they're they're hanging out with the pepper plant there. My blueberry plant. There's another lemon. These are Meyer lemons. And this is a bell pepper plant, which is doing well. This is Swiss chard. I'm just going to let it flower. And I'll plant some more. Shishitos. See, I don't know what's up with these. They were doing good, and now they look crappy. Sorry for the word. Now they look terrible. Lettuce, I'm just letting it go to seed. I had no intention of, you know, getting lettuce this summer. I was just going to let it go to seed. Let, let the pollinators have the flowers. And another tomato that looks terrible. So, that is that. Um, did I go around this one? I did go around this one, but I didn't talk about much of it. There's a couple of peppers there. Another tomato that's not attacked yet by leaf-footed bugs. Oh, but it's got a hornworm on it. See him? Oh, uh, there he is. So I'm gonna have to cut him off and do something with him because I, I can't squish him. He's too big. There's a, oh, look, look, y'all. There's a lizard. I'm not gonna hurt you, baby. He's like, what are you doing looking at me? There, see, that's Cabinet Mills alive, but look how scrawny it is. I have another one in the greenhouse that's still alive. Um, okay. Oh, and there's one of my sweet potato plants. It needs to be out more in the sun. I do need to move it. I hope this video doesn't take two days to upload. We're going to walk over here to this other one that I have out here. This other little spot I put some. I moved it way out here because, or started some stuff way out here because I put blue Hubbard squash out here trying to keep the vine borer away from everything else. The blue Hubbard squash lasted longer than everything, you know, was not attacked as early as everything else was. And then I've got sweet potato vines in these two pots. And I've got amaranth there. And a borage plant. But anyway, and I tried to start some corn and well, the rain. When it stands in water like that, it doesn't do well. And Miss Lucy's just wandering. And yes, my yard is always a mess because I can't manage to keep up with it. My weed eater is on the fritz and not getting fixed. It'll get fixed, I guess, when I deal with it. But that's a whole other issue. Oh, we'll go over here. All right, quick. My fig trees, I got one fig. They need some care and aren't getting it. And there's some chamomile in there and some parsley and my messy greenhouse. And my raspberry plant that the ants have gotten in. I don't know how to keep the ants at bay. Like I have dog food in the house for my animals and it is in we keep the dog food in a big um tr a metal trash can and i have not had ants in that thing in forever never actually until this year and they have found it and i don't know how to keep them out so i don't know i don't know what to do how to keep the ants out of the dog food anyway this is 
kakuzi squash two of them because i think i read somewhere you have to have two plants well the only thing it only thing these two plants do is produce male flowers it looks really nice but it hasn't produced anything but male flowers and i have no idea why it gets plenty of sun it gets water it doesn't get attacked by vine borer i don't know i have no idea all right y'all that is about it my you know i've been out here now for 15 minutes and i'm hot and i'm sweating and need to go in so i'll go in and do something in the house but anyway y'all uh if you haven't please like subscribe and share i would absolutely appreciate it if you have any ideas on how to keep ants out of pots for plants and out of dog food let me know because this is ridiculous ridiculous anyway y'all y'all take care have a good one stay cool because it's hot and i think it's hot almost everywhere so all right now bye